Our mastery of our voices contributes significantly to the superiority of human communication over other species. Aside from body language, it is the most basic kind of communication we learn. After a few years of practice, we become experts, and this incredible skill becomes a part of our daily lives. Most people quickly forget it's a skill at all. However, scientists have not forgotten and several have discovered unexpected findings concerning the human voice. Here are some interesting facts about human voices, ranging from what they have in common with fish to how they influence architecture. Humans inherited vocal cords from fish. Evolutionary experts believe that any animal with a voice owes its existence to prehistoric fish. This is because, some 530 million years ago, a lucky landlocked fish was born with a mutation that enabled it to collect oxygen from the air. More significantly, it was capable of reproducing and passing this feature on. Over millions of years, its offspring evolved into lungfish, which have lungs and a valve that prevents water from entering the respiratory system. This valve lasted thousands of years later, when humans evolved into voice cords. The sound of a voice is produced when air pushed up from the lungs causes portions of this valve to vibrate against one another. Early human speech might have sounded like beatboxing. How can scientists know what our predecessors' speech sounded like? While they cannot be certain, they can make educated predictions by studying how other great apes communicate. For example, researchers discovered that orangutans and humans share an advanced vocal skill, the ability to produce two vocal sounds simultaneously. Male Borneo and orangutans make noises known as chomps and grumbles when threatened. The researchers discovered that a male could produce both sounds simultaneously, similar to how a human beatboxer can simulate drums and instruments. Scientists researched orangutans in Sumatra, Indonesia to ensure that this was a biological attribute rather than a unique feature of Borneo and orangutans. Female orangutans were seen making kiss squeak and rolling call sounds simultaneously. The noises alerted other orangutans to danger. This demonstrates that other big apes can emit two vocal sounds simultaneously, implying that humanity's ancestors could as well. It's even possible that the first humans communicated using beatbox-like noises. The voices of the dead can be recreated. In 2020, an ancient Egyptian mummy talked for the first time after thousands of years. He grumbled. And no, he had not become a zombie. Neziamun, a 3,000-year-old Egyptian priest, had his voice electronically restored. Scientists used CT scans of his vocal tract to make a 3D printed replica. They then connected it to a loudspeaker and delivered an electronic signal that replicated the sound of a human larynx through it. The outcome was a single vowel sound, which the researchers believe is what people would hear if Nizyamin's larynx regenerated. The study envisions a future in which individuals can hear old history rather than only see it in the form of ruins and artifacts. However, the software used to recreate such antique voices requires development. The position of the vocal tract and the quantity of flesh remaining affect the sounds it produces. Nizyavan had been lying down for 3,000 years, so very little meat remained. His tongue was almost completely gone. While his restored voice is an improvement, it is still far from what Egyptians would have heard if they had listened to his songs or talks. Animals fear our voices more than lions. According to a 2023 study, animals in South Africa's Kruger National Park are more fearful of human speech than lions. Antelopes, elephants, giraffes, leopards, and war thugs were exposed to recordings of the sounds, which included humans conversing in native languages. Approximately 95% of the animals flowed from the human speech. They were less bothered about the lion sounds, and several elephants even attempted to attack the fake predator. These findings are consistent with numerous studies from around the world, which reveal that animals are more afraid of humans than other creatures. This poses a difficulty to wildlife tourism because tourists are likely to scare away the animals they want to view. Other research suggests that fear alone can diminish animal populations, thus humans must develop strategies to reduce the animal's fear. They could even use it to safeguard threatened species. One concept being tried is to use human sounds to discourage rhinos away from locations where poachers are known to hunt.